Today I'm going to go over the build on this uh, bait can and you can't see the whole thing. But I'm going to take a little bit of a different approach. I'm putting diagrams in here of all the parts and how they're going together. And then I'm going to speed up the uh, assembly process. You'll see how it was assembled, but it'll go by pretty quickly. And um, at the end, if you stay through the video, you'll see a test shot, which is actually pretty impressive. So let's get on with it and uh, start doing this build. I've got this quick exhaust valve together. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, make a adapter so I can screw on air chambers on this end. Uh, this is going to be female. Reason is that the uh, this won't be harmed. Um, I don't want to have to rebuild this if something should happen to the thread. So the male end will be on the uh, the air chamber. So in this section of the video, I'll be assembling the section that goes between the modified sprinkler valve and the uh, air chamber. Um, really just a matter of gluing some PVC together. Uh, make sure you get primer on both sides of the PVC and um, get it uh, glued nicely. Uh, I'm taping up the, uh, the uh, threaded fit in here, putting it into the uh, trigger, and uh, getting everything measured, cut, and glued. Here's the parts diagram for the receiver. The receiver screws into the front of the sprinkler valve. The way I've designed this is that it will have a one and a half inch FPT fitting uh, female plumbing thread. And uh, that way you can use various types of barrels, make up whatever type of barrel you want. In this case, we're doing a bait launcher. Um, and I'll show you later in the video how we do the barrel for that.
And now we get to the barrel. Here's the parts I use. It's probably the simplest one of all. It's two pieces. Uh, one piece of um, one and a half inch by five feet of uh, PVC and then a, a one and a half inch slip to a uh, one and a half inch threaded male. Uh, very simple. This segment goes so quick, I'm not going to put any, any music into this. Um, because before you know it, we'll be building the air chamber. Here's the air chamber diagram and the pieces that you'll need. Um, in essence, uh, the uh, piece that screws into the assembly we already have is one and a half inch male threaded. Um, everything else is glued together. Probably the most pain in the ass part was getting a little uh, Schrader valve into that cap. I ended up using a half inch drill bit. Um, and that was to accommodate the, uh, the rubber gaskets, uh, almost, almost like a flange uh, that fit in there. And I had to end up trimming the, uh, the outside uh, piece or flange or rubber gasket, whatever you want to call it, down a little bit. Because um, the PVC cap is really thick. And um, <laughs> there was just not enough room left there to, uh, to get the nut on. But there's the uh, Schrader valve. And you'll see me uh, drilling this out with a half inch drill bit and then uh, getting it all together. And now we get to building a stand. This was actually pretty interesting. I thought it was a neat design. Um, the only thing I would do differently with this stand is rather than making the legs one inch, I might go one and a half inch. They're, they're, they're a little floppy, but they do hold the cannon up, so I'm just going to leave it like that for now. The, uh, the main piece on this was the uh, saddle clamp. Um, I got that one on Amazon, and uh, what I ended up doing was uh, setting it up so that uh, there was a T underneath of it and the legs come off of the T. Uh, I didn't glue that piece in. That one um, can be removed. And uh, the reason for that is that I want to be able to transport this thing. It's a pretty big monster already. So uh, having that removable stand or that leg makes it a lot easier to take to different places and uh, set up and tear down. The last step before putting it all together is building a brace. I measured the distance between where the barrel would sit and where the air chamber is, and I decided to cut one out of wood. Um, looking at this, you can see me using the 4-inch uh, the PVC and the uh, inch-and-a-half PVC as guides. Going to cut it out, paint it black, get it on the barrel, uh, and um, have a complete air gun system and a uh, bait cannon, if you will. We'll have a lot of fun with this. Well, here's the finished cannon. 
Um, again, the legs are a little too wide for this for this table. But that's all right. Um, I just did a blank firing, just there, just to make sure that there was no leaks anywhere. There aren't. So this should be pretty interesting this weekend. Uh, we'll throw a couple of ice slugs out of here into a safe backdrop, and uh, just to get an idea of what we're dealing with. And uh, hopefully, really soon, we'll get this out to the beach and throw out some uh, some bait, or a couple of hundred yards or more. That would be great. But anyway, let me show you the last piece I did was uh, added this wood block. I showed you how I uh, measured it and cut it out, um, painted it black. I have tie wraps on it now, but that will change to uh, to Velcro. So you can see that I uh, put it those things. Oh, excuse me. So you can see I put those uh, that brace in between the uh, barrel and the air chamber. It's a lot of fun. This build was a lot of fun, and it's going to be a heck of a lot more fun shooting it, I'm sure. So we've got this bait cannon built. Now for a test, I've got one and a half inch whiskey balls, um, ice whiskey balls, great name. Makes it sound like uh, the courage you develop after some whiskey. And um, I'm going to fire this at a uh, piece, of, uh, piece of wood I got there, some OSB wood, and just see what happens. Uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get a nice uh, projectile with a lot of strength and velocity. We'll see. Uh, we've got about 110 PSI on this, so we're going to do a fire. I don't know how well it's going to do. That ice didn't seem to seal very well. We'll give it a shot to see what happens. <laughs> so my aim wasn't uh, entirely spectacular, but as you can see, there's a, an immense amount of power uh, behind that air cannon at uh, 110 PSI. I don't doubt that this is going to launch the bait in the... Uh, distance that we want to get it but uh yeah it did quite a number on this board uh, we're going to shoot a few more just for fun so i hope you enjoyed that video and you learned something from it uh, it was meant to be informational and educational if um, if you do use it um, just bear in mind um, that you do so at your own risk uh, pvc and pneumatic systems are inherently incompatible they're rated for pressure but it's water pressure not air pressure so if you do this thing, you do it on your own, um, you assume all risk liability and indemnify me from uh, whatever may happen. Uh, but I will tell you, be careful with these things. Follow two basic safety rules. Load the projectile first. And if um, once you've got it loaded and you charge the air system, do not walk in front of this. I've seen a lot of videos where guys do bait cannons and a um, number of other things with pneumatic cannons. And then you walk in front of the barrel. That thing will kill you. So be careful. And... Um, Enjoy it, and thank you for watching.